All right, MMA fans, I'm here with USC featherweight fighter, Mr. Jonathan Pierce. Hello, Jonathan. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm smiling since we had to overcome some technical issues, but we're here and we're ready to record this interview. How was your day? How was your morning? <laughs> it was good. It was good. Uh, just got back from the gym, uh, did my last rounds. I'm here talking to you and uh, it's been great. Um, you, I noticed that you post, posted a Bruce Lee story on Instagram. Are you a Bruce Lee fan? Oh, yeah. I like Bruce Lee. I like Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali. Those are probably my three favorite. And Chuck Norris, of course. Of course. I mean, you're uh, listing some combat sports and uh, martial arts royalties. So, yeah, it's understandable. But what is it that you like? about uh, Bruce Lee in particular? Um, I like how he breaks it down and uh, how he explains like the flow like water. And then I think he takes some of the stuff that he incorporates in fighting into his life and stuff like that. And I just thought he always was like a good guy, you know, but you could take him around your family and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, I understand. And um, we're recording this interview a few days ahead of uh, Thanksgiving. How are you going to celebrate uh, if you're going to celebrate it at all? I might have a few slices of turkey, nothing crazy, um, but uh, weight's good. So. Uh, so I understand you can afford to, you know, to eat a few slices of turkey then. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm good I, you know it's good to hear that and I'm happy to hear that your weight is uh, on point listen in your latest fight you defeated Makwan Amirkani in London you promised to deliver a show for the crowd and you did it you even won the performance of the night bonus but were you a little bit nervous ahead of that fight you know considering that it was your first fight outside the United States Yes, uh, I, th I get nervous every time I fight. Uh, I think that, you know, if we're human, we're going to get nervous. Uh, but not like frightened, you know. Uh, my follow-up question would have been, do you usually get nervous ahead of a fight? Yeah, I always get nervous. Uh, I broke my jaw in 2019. So I have two plates and eight screws. I have 19 broken teeth. So like Ooh. there's always a chance that something like that could happen again. So I'm I always am nervous about that. But any day you don't spend in jail or in the hospital is a good day. Yeah, for, for sure. For sure. Uh, you're referring. Uh, I mean, did you get uh, your jaw uh, broken in the Joe Lozen fight? No, I broke my jaw. Uh, I got assaulted in like 2019. Uh, I was a professional fighter, kind of like a bully situation, but uh, it it led me to where I am today. And I feel like I've been through a lot more than a lot of the other fighters that I'm competing against. Like after I broke my jaw, I laid in the hospital for like three days and they sucked the blood out of my face. So um, I'm, I'm ready. And uh, I don't think... I don't think uh, he's been through something like that. So, man, yeah, that's some really nasty and tough situation. C can I ask you uh, to about what happened? You know, on that occasion, you told me that you were assaulted, but uh, what w was the the assault? How, what what happened? I, I confronted the the gym bully, and uh, he decided to not speak back to me on anything that I was saying to him and just waited until I turned away and he hit me and I, that knocked me out and that I would have been cool with all that. But then he came and he kicked me in the face when I was unconscious and that broke my jaw in two places. I bit my tongue in half. I bit 19 of my teeth in half. I had a concussion for like six hours. Um, I didn't know who the president was. I didn't know what day it was of the week. Um, and to come back from that, I fought six months later, had my second pro fight. So here we are today. And I don't think, I don't think a single guy in the UFC has been through something like that. And I'm sure I haven't lived the life that they have neither. 
I just take this into the cage with me, and I feel like that's the difference between me and a lot of the guys I fight. Uh, man, yeah, I, I wish. I mean, I not, I don't wish to say I understand, but from what you're you're telling me, it was a really, really tough situation. And yeah, it's kill or get killed for you in the cage right now, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you're going to perform again in front of the UFC audience on December the 3rd when you're taking on Darren Elkins. In general, how was your camp for this one? I think it was a great camp. Um, I've been in camp pretty much all year, so I'm prepared. Uh, and I plan on, you know, December 3rd going out there. My goal is not to let it go 15 minutes. You, Elkins is a, a veteran, a respected veteran of the game. What do you expect from him? Um, I think he's going to be hunting for the chokes, uh, takedowns, ground control. I don't think he's got as much to offer on the feet. Um, so that's, I'm going to try to keep him off my neck. It's kind of like the, a similar fight as last time, but I think this guy has a little bit more cardio, maybe a little bit better fighter all the way around. Even so, you told me that you are going to push for a finish. You know, uh, as I mentioned, you are coming off a performance of the night bonus. How did you spend your money? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did enjoy it. I'm saving it right now. And, you know, when you fly out of country, not only do you have to pay Uncle Sam, but you got to pay the Queen of England. So uh, we're still still paying out a little bit. But uh, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, I'm happy with the 50K. You know, let's go see how many I can get now. Well, fingers crossed you will get one more in uh, this upcoming fight. And um, in case of victory, which, of course, you are very confident to take home, you will be putting together a five-fight win streak. Uh, and then what would be next for you? I mean, I was expecting to see you, uh, you know, uh, against a ranked opponent. Uh, are you actually going to push for a fight with a ranked opponent? Yeah, I think after this one, we definitely need a ranked opponent. I don't think I stand anywhere in title contention or anything like that, but I will speak up and say this. Connor did it in six. So this is going to be five straight for me, and we'll just see what happens. Like, I'm not in no rush to get to the top. Um, I think you got to be smart about your climb because, like, say you're going for the title and you lose – what type of mindset are you going to have after that? Like, can you handle that? So I'm just taking it one step at a time. Uh, Got to get through him first. And then I definitely have a name, uh, maybe top 10, top 15. You know, I don't think I would get any better than that. You know, I don't think I would get a top five. I don't think I would get nothing better. So we'll see what we can get. You know, we'll go fishing. The card on which you're fighting is headlined by the fight between uh, Stephen Thompson and Kevin Holland. Uh, I'd like to hear your prediction for the main event. I like both guys. I just got to go for Stephen Thompson. He's out of my area. Uh, I think he trains out in South Carolina. So I trained out at his area for a little while, but uh, didn't make it home or anything like that. Just really like that guy because he's from my area. And what's about your fight? I mean, you have knockouts, you have submissions on your record. Uh, what and decision, of course, but what are you pushing for? Um, finish any way I can. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get it one way or the other, but if I had to, if I was a bet man, I'd say it's gonna be a TKO or a KO. Um, if not, I'm gonna go for the, the unanimous decision, but. Definitely want to get it done. Definitely want to finish. Because who wants to fight for 15 minutes, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I understand what you're saying here. I mean, the more you stay in there, the more the chances to get hit and hurt uh, are rising. Yes, sir. And um, it, since we are discussing a bit about the featherweight uh, rankings and division, what do you think about the fight? The fact that uh, the divisional champion, uh, you know, uh, is going to 
fight or at least is rumored to be fighting for the lightweight to move up a division and uh, fight for the uh, Alex Volkanovski is yeah is taking on the lightweight champion. Um, I think that Volkanovski will give him a good fight, but I think just size and if you look at the like any of the Russian guys that fought that were wrestlers, like they're gonna take you down and they're gonna submit you or they're gonna take you down. And eventually you're just going to be too tired to perform. And uh, that's what I see happening. I think the size advantage is going to be there for sure. Um, him going up to 55 and not taking a long time like Bones Jones did to put on the weight and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be the defining factor in the fight. Um, I know that right now you're pretty comfortable at uh, featherweight, but in your future, do you see yourself moving up a division? Yeah, I think uh, let's see what we can do at 45 first. I definitely came in at 55, won my contender series at 55, and fought lows on. I just don't think I'm big enough for the weight class just yet. And, I mean, when you got four straight in a weight, like, let's just stay here. Let's keep doing what I'm going to do. And, uh, like, I'm not, I'm in no rush to try to get up to 55 or anything like that. Uh, I just want to go and see what we can do here first before we go any farther. No, no, for sure, for sure. I mean, again, you're doing very well at uh, 45. It was, you know, just uh, a curiosity of mine. Jonathan, I finished my questions. Do you have any last messages? That's it. Um, just stay grinding, stay happy, stay positive, uh, stay healthy, and much love to everybody, you know. Um, that's about it. Thank you very much. It's always a great pleasure for me. Best of luck with the upcoming fight, and hopefully I will hear again from you in the future, man. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Have a nice one.